What's up guys? So just a quick update on my truck. Um, I've been working the last couple months on the interior, trying to get everything situated in the back of the truck. So everything is strapped down. So when I wheel, there's nothing sliding around. So um, I'm sure you guys have seen, I got the jack mounted up here. <clears throat> the spare tire is strapped down. Um, that worked out really good because I used the existing holes in the front up there for where the seat belts were for the rear seat. So that worked out good. And then I have everything I need as far as recovery um, in this tote here that's strapped down. It's not going anywhere. Um, and then there's a little bit of room for any kind of extra crap that I want to throw in here, which hopefully there really won't be anything I need for like a day trip. My cooler will go up in the front on the floor on the passenger side um, but and I'm sure you guys have seen the other video with the uh, the liner all, in, all installed and then the front vinyl we left the vinyl in the front because I really didn't mind it too much it actually turned out pretty good it's still got a it's kind of cool here in Vegas once it once it heats up hopefully this will kind of flatten out a little bit but it turned out really good I, I'm I'm happy with the front the, the part in the back was horrible <clears throat> but the front turned out really good so um, disregard the seats everything else in the interior um, those are on my list um, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for seats because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for a roll cage yet but we're working on it so I also wanted to show you guys um, what my idea was so originally my plan was to um, have everything in the in the back be able to be removed so when we go camping I can just take out the spare tire and the tote throw down a foam pad and I got a bed but that's kind of a pain in the ass but that's kind of why I put all these um, d-rings on a hinge so they'll flatten down so I could put a foam pad on top of them and sleep there but um, we came up with a better idea um, the rails up here the bed rails on each side I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do now is build a platform maybe a three-piece platform out of some angle iron and then sheet it with a thin piece of plywood and it'll be able to to be removed when I'm not using it but when I go camping I can install it and just sleep above everything that way I don't have to take anything out of the truck um, I think that's a, a way better idea I only go camping maybe once a year anyway so <clears throat> it's not that big of a deal so I talked to my buddy Mark and he's basically made the same thing for his Ford Ranger out of some angle iron. So um, next time I see him, I'm going to talk to him, show him what I got going on, and then we'll go from there. But I believe that's what my plan is for now. So other than that, I've just been doing some basic maintenance. I had to do a power steering pump last weekend. That's all installed. I didn't film any of that because it was just boring shit. That's an update on pretty much where I'm standing right now. I haven't really done much the last month or so with the holidays and stuff, but I'm getting some stuff done. I'm happy the way things are still progressing. Anyways, hope you guys all have, are having a good new year, and everybody's good, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.